Hey everybody, welcome back to day 5 of my 12 Days of Anime series of videos. And today we're going to be talking about the anime conventions I used to go to, the anime conventions I now go to, and the ones I want to attend, um, and why. And I promise this won't be too boring, it's just kind of like a little explanation because a lot of people go to anime conventions that are near their house or near where they live and honestly like, that's me. I can't afford to go really far, but I've had amazing experiences and memories with a lot of anime conventions, so I do want to talk about a few of them. Today I want to talk about an anime convention that was actually really important to me this year, which was um, Anime NYC, and yes, like it sounds like it was in New York City, but if you guys don't know what it is, it's basically, I feel like it's on the way to becoming the Anime Expo of New York, which would be really, really nice. I just want it to blow up, honestly, because anime has gotten so big, and especially the past few years, like, I feel like anime just gets more and more popular, and that's a really good thing. We need people to stream videos and watch things legally and stuff like that, and I don't know what's going on, or if it's just the way things are, but at literally, like, it seems like Everyone has joined in and anime has raised so much money. I feel like Anime NYC has so much potential and people probably don't even realize that. This year was absolutely amazing. I went with two of my closest friends and we experienced a lot of nostalgia because it's been literally over a year since we went to like a full-blown anime convention. Did also go to New York Comic Con this year, which is still special to me as well, but it's a little bit harder for us since we go for mainly shopping purposes and we want to collect a lot of merch. But the good part about New York Comic Con is that it has a lot of gaming and stuff like that and a lot of my friends are into gaming. So what I wish I did differently is that I wish I took advantage of the anime convention that used to be in my um, home state, which was truly where I met most of my friends and where like it all kind of started for me. I wish I knew about that convention before the first time I ever went because honestly I would have absolutely loved it. It got so big and then eventually moved to Atlantic City. The anime convention I'm referring to is called Anime Next. Um, but yeah, I really hope to go to Anime Next. I, I would even love to go this year and since obviously, you know, maybe money will be a little bit better, I could see if I can get my friends and slip them all the way to Atlantic City, but um, I don't know, it, it's different. Like, the first time I ever went to an anime convention, I didn't know what to expect and I went with my best friend Laura and we just literally didn't know, like, what was gonna happen, like, we didn't know if we were gonna be like, like targeted and people were gonna come up to us because we've heard stories and rumors and while that all does happen and it gets a little crazy sometimes it was so pleasantly surprising and everybody was so so nice and honestly like if I could go back like I would have taken so many more pictures and stuff like that because what I have is a lot but it's not enough <laughs> those are some of the most precious memories to me if you guys haven't been to an anime convention please look up wherever you are whatever's there I'm sure if it's a very quiet state, they probably have quiet conventions that end up being big because there's anime fans everywhere now. I encourage everybody to go out and just, you know, meet friends that like the same thing. I feel like anime conventions really persuade people to get together and meet each other and talk about things that like you never think you would ever talk about with someone but you really have a lot in common with them and I I really enjoy that. Anime NYC was a very special memory to me this year and I felt like sharing that with you guys because I didn't put up a haul because I only got like keychains and little merchandise and stuff like that but I can assure you that doesn't happen often. I usually go and spend so much money. There was a year where I spent so much money that I don't even think I can say it on camera because there will be judgment. <laughs> so overall, I just wanted to share those with you. Please let me know whatever anime conventions you recently went to and what ones you absolutely have the best memories from. I want to know it all. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I will see you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe and like and stay tuned for more videos because we are doing this until the 25th of December. So yeah, see you guys next time.